Hi everyone, I'm Nick, co-founder of Soul, and I'd like to talk to you guys today about our SaaS platform for automated employee schedule. Let me take you on a trip to the history of Soul. Strobo started out as a purely planning tool, but if we would gather the availabilities of the workforce, we'd create a planning, send it out, and have the employees um, accept or reject that planning. With this idea, we found our first customers in Orica. And you know, once you get your first customers, you also start to get your first questions. One of the first questions that we got is, hey Nick, um, now that everybody is scheduled, I also want to be 100% sure that if they work for me, that that's legally okay. So what we did is um, we created uh, an extra module which would work for um, digital contracts and for the one registrations. Now, the next question that we got is, hey Nick, um, in my company, you know, we, we plan people, but usually they work on very different types or they work longer or less. So we created a digital time and attendance uh, module. Um, from there on, customers said, okay, Nick, I now have all of my data here in my tool, but at the end of the month, I still need a lot of time to pay my people because I have to give in the, that data one by one in my payroll office. So what we did is we created a link with all those payroll offices. Not even did we create a link, but we also created a payroll calcula calculation engine, which would create, or, or sorry, which would calculate the most optimal payroll code. Let me give you a quick example. If somebody has a 38 hour contract and they work for 42 hours, we would um, calculate four hours of overtime automatically before that we send it on to your payroll. Once that um, our clients used all those tools, they were saving a lot of time and they came back to us and said, Nick, you know, now we have automated this entire, uh, this entire flow, this entire process, but now I want to become better at, plan at planning. I want to make sure that the plan that I created, that's the one that's most profitable for my business. So what we did is we created a very advanced uh, reporting module, which would basically tell you that if you create a planning um, in the system, if that planning was optimal for your business requirements or not. These are some of the customers that already work for us. I'm assuming maybe most of you guys know McDonald's, KFC, or the Lazard, or some of the sports fans here know KFC Link. We now have almost, I mean, sorry, we now have over 1,300 customers in four countries. One other thing that we find very important is that. In Strobo, we want to give you all the information that you need to create that most optimal planning. That can be your weather forecast, the reservations of your, uh, your business, uh, but we also want to make sure that you can manage all of your staff in Strobo. That's not only your own staff, that can also be your interim office staff. So we don't only link up with payroll offices like SD Works or Leontis or whoever, we also link up with interim uh, offices because we want you get to get we want our customers to have one tool but that they can manage all of their employees. Let me also tell you something about our company. Now, Strobo started out in 2016 um, where that we got our first customers. We started selling in 2017. Uh, we got our first innovation award also that year. And in 2018 already, we were acquired by a company called ProTime. Under the wings of ProTime, we grew further and um, we even become the market leader in 2019 for uh, planning your flexible workforce. In 2020, we grew further. By the way, 2020 was a very, very difficult year for us because 80% of our customers are in the hospitality and you know, they basically were closed uh, for a long time in 2020. But even in that year, our sales team was able to sign almost 500 new customers, something that we're very, very proud of. Not only did we sign 500 customers, we also started to sign international deals. We now have already almost 100 international clients, mostly in the Netherlands, but also in France and Luxembourg. And last thing, but not, but not least in that year, for the people who know Strobo, they know that in the summer of 2020, we rebranded because before we were known as online medicals. Within those last years, we also started to sign up bigger customers. Bigger customers meant for us new challenges. 
one of the first things that we saw is that for bigger customers, they were not only looking into automating that entire process from planning to payroll, but they were also just spending a lot and a lot of time in creating their planning. And their planning was sometimes this complex that at the end of the week when they created the planning, they, they just weren't even sure if the planning was optimal or not. So what we created, and as an it -er, I'm very, very enthusiastic about this. What we created is a data-driven planning, an AI planning module, which takes into account all the information that we have and maps it with the business needs of the customer, maps it um, with the law, and maps it with their personal preferences. And with one touch of a button, Strobo can now create a full schedule from scratch. Okay. These are some of the companies that already use this. And the next thing that we saw was that companies who needed or had a higher complexity in planning also had a higher complexity in payroll. Luckily for us, we were already integrating with ProTime, which means that we can now offer Strobo in the front and the ProTime calculation engine in the back. As some of you might know, ProTime is the market leader in Belgium for time and attendance, and it's one of the most powerful payroll calculation engines in the market. And again, from there on, we can link with almost any um, payroll office in the country. Now, as I already said, Corona was a very challenging time for us. Not only were we able to send to, to sign all, almost 500 new customers, but I'm very proud to say that we also stood by our customers and. For those who were close, we even gave them a partial refund um, of their licenses. All right, I'm going to wrap up here. I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a great day.